ministers Peter Obungu Owich, uh, the current president of the Kenya Bunge La Wananchi Caucus, and uh, the president of the famous uh, formation of the Sufuria Revolution Movement Kenya. Uh, today, I want to speak about the broad-based government. Uh, most of us outside there does not understand what broad-based means. To me, broad-based is just an idea that has brought about Kenyans together. As we all know, that after the elections of the 2022, after the outcome of the 2022 general elections, us as members of ODM party and those that are in the Azimio, uh, we were not at terms with the government. There was a formation of the UDA which took power, led by President William Samoy Ruto, and us who were supporting Raila Moludinga, who was the presidential candidate for the Azimio La Umoja movement. After the elections, we went to the famous anti-finance bill 2023-2024. That was a very serious process that we went through demonstrations in the Republic of Kenya. It was not easy. It was demonstrations all over the country, led by Raila Muludinga, Honorable Mata Ungangari Karua, uh, Eugene Wamalwa, Stephen Kalonzo Msioka, and other members of the Azimio La Umoja movement. As here in Kisumu, I was leading a revolution movement known as Sufuria Revolution Movement, a movement which helped me to traverse most parts of the country, telling the people that we were seriously in a desperate moment that called for desperate measures. And it was for the reason I wore the Sufuria on my head. Our people, it is time that we look back and realize as a country that indeed Kenya is greater than all of us. Through that, is why Raila Muludinga came up with a conversation known as the National Conversation. The National Conversation was about the NADCO, which came up with issues that were to be implemented by the government. Through the NADCO process, there was issue touching on the opening of the service, the high cost of living, Giving the, uh, giving the powers to the political parties, meaning the people that were fronting the, uh, the people that were fronting for a conversation wanted uh, that political parties be, to be given powers to sit on their own and to discuss their own affairs, since the state was coming in and causing interference in the political parties as fully formed. All those issues were in the NARCO report. Touching issues, touching on tribalism, matters on the historical injustices, all these ideas, the IBC included, the, uh, the, uh, 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 the, uh, the constitution of the IBC as an office, all these were the ideas that were being discussed under the NARCO. Our people, allow me to appreciate the formation of the Gen Z movement, which later on came up with fresh ideas, very energetic, a group full of leaderless, a group full of tribeless, group full of ideas that came up with their own formation, started a movement and courtesy of the Article 37 of the Kenyan Constitution organized for demonstrations, which later on made the government, led by President William Samoy Ruto, to do away with the cabinet and even put a lot of reforms. It is through the Gen Z's that currently as we speak, we have other leaders in the government who are not part of the government because of the push that they, pres they, they presided over. The broad-based government has given us an opportunity to talk as a people, to associate together, to assemble, to sit, to drink, to engage as a people. Currently, as we speak, the President of the Republic of Kenya, President William Samoy Ruto, 
has found an opportunity to walk in various counties which he was unable to traverse simply because of uh, the discomfort that were in this country. The president was not allowed to move because the Gen Z's did not want him to move even an inch until he reorganizes the country. I want to thank His Excellency Raila Molodinga for coming together and agreeing that well, they can work together with William Samoy Ruto. Not as ODM and UDA, but as individuals. It's currently, as we speak, ODM and UDA has never signed an agreement to work together. It is just out of the four people that were poached through ODM that are working in the government. Lastly, as I finish, I want to use this opportunity to welcome His Excellency, the President William Samoy Ruto, to Luo Nyanza. We know the President has got a full itinerary that is to start from Oma Bay, Siaya, Kisumu, and Migori. We want to encourage the President to walk freely without fear. We want to encourage the President to come and sleep in Kisumu, walk, get to the lake, eat fresh fish, move freely and get, and, uh, engage with the border border, engage with the women, come to the Bunge La Wananchi and talk to us as his people. This county of ours, Kisumu, is a welcoming county. We want to tell the president that as he comes, let him come with full goodies. We expect a lot. <coughs> and as Bunge La Wananchi, which I'm the leader, we want to tell Mr. President William Samoy Ruto, we have fought for a proper constitutional framework. We fought for good governance. We have given our opinion on various matters. And I want to ask you openly that as you come to Kisumu, give us another opportunity to talk to you. Engage us as Bunge members. Consider us in any other appointments. Brother Opio and I, who is now the current Minister for Energy and Petroleum, Brother Stephen Ambetsa Oparanya, the CES for cooperatives, Brother Ali Asanjo, the CS for mining, and lastly, <coughs> our brother, uh, the CS for finance, Brother John Buddy. Please give us some jobs. Offer the Gen Z some job. Offer the Bunge Lawananchi an opportunity to serve in those ministries. Give us time to serve. It is time that we must feel that we are Kenyans. We have died. Our people have died because of the demonstrations. We have the bloodshed because of demonstrations. So many people, they have, their families are, cannot still trace their kings or their children because of the demonstrations. So many people have been abducted because of the demonstrations. We are speaking in pain. Please give us somewhere that we can also get something to feed our families because we also have families. Particularly me, we have fought, we have demonstrated, we have moved, we have spoken, we have put our lives in risk even during the Sufuria Revolution movement. During the recent demonstrations of the Gen Z's, us as millennials, I led a movement here in Kisumu. We demonstrated here in Kisumu. We were chased by police officers. We were, I was not even sleeping in my house. Consider us. Give us any opportunity. Mr. President, we welcome you, but as you traverse Nyanza, think about the young people. Think about the Bungalow. <coughs> think about the Gen Z's. Thank you and may God bless. Okay, I, I just want, uh, I just have one question for you. You say that you are the president of Bungelo and uh, How is the people from uh, the people whom you are representing? Do they prepare to welcome President William Ruto or the? On behalf of the leadership of the Kenya Bungelo and Caucus, I want to speak categorically and confirm to the nation that the Bungelo and recognizes and welcomes the president to the Luo Nyanza, and we want him to come. Walk freely, talk freely, engage freely, eat fresh fish. We love him, we care about him. He's the younger brother to our 
party leader, our presidential candidate, the, the brother that we are, our, our father, and the hopeful AUC chairperson. <laughs> Okay, being that now you have talked about the broad-based government and we have seen that you are representing a member of Bungala Wana Inchi and in member, member uh, Bungala Wana Inchi there also we have some gens or do you have some gens in your Bungi? Bungala Wana Inchi has got different people in different categories, different tribes. We have the Muslims, the Christians, youths, women, PWDs and the elderly persons and all of them have got their different opinions. Okay. I'll... The Gen Z's spoke in their louder voices. The women have been speaking. Youths are talking. PWDs are speaking. And the elderly persons are also engaging in their own ways. Okay, I just want to ask you a question. Being that you are the now you are in under your leadership, also we have some Gen Z's. How do Gen Z's feel that feel because they are not part of the government? When President William Ruto and Rella Molodinga said together. The current Constitution 2010 allows us to speak very freely. Those for the divergent opinion or with the, with the divergent opinion and those that are supporting the opinions that are there. Therefore, as in the Bunge, we don't discriminate anybody. Everybody is given an opportunity to express his opinion. We know that currently, even as we speak, there are a lot of Gen Z's outside there, outside there who does not understand why this situation has come to where we are. But we still want to encourage them that the country is bigger than any other person. Demonstration was not the only way. We are supposed to speak as a people. This opportunity that we are talking to each other is a good opportunity ever than the other opportunity that is to speak against the, uh, against the, 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 the person. We have come a long way as a nation. We were in a very desperate moment whereby we could not, our people could not even get an opportunity to move from point, B, from point A to point B. Businesses were collapsing. Families were still crying about their children being displaced because of uh, the police harassment and even the extrajudicial killings, the abduction. All these have come to rest. Therefore, the Gen Z's outside there who still does not agree with this idea, I appeal to them that this is the best idea that they must adopt, all of them outside there. And they need to support the progress government. Okay, thanks. So I, I, I just have one question. Do you think Raila Molo Dinga betrayed the Azimio leaders? Raila Molo Dinga did not betray the Azimio leaders. He said very well, the time has come that we must sit on the table and discuss issues as they are. And he said... The time for the national conversation has come, and that is the opportunity that we must all need, we all need to come and talk. Therefore, there was no room for any betrayal. Yakom has never betrayed anybody. If I want to, uh, all, uh, uh, allow me to tell you this: if there is anybody that should complain about betrayal, then is Raila Molodinga. Honorable Martha Karua left Raila Molodinga during the time that Raila needed him. That is in 2007. He went. Is, is, is one person who stood with the, uh, the late uh, president, uh, uh, Mwai Kibaki. He denied us power. Eugene Wamalo was, uh, was part of the team that denied us power. Honorable Stephen Kalonzo Sioka left us in ODM and went and uh, formed power together with uh, uh, President uh, Mwai Kibaki. He became his vice president. Honorable Jeremiah Kioni, who dep deputized the current uh, 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 CS for uh, uh, Foreign Affairs, Honorable, uh, Honorable um, Salem Davadi. He became his deputy. He did not even vote for um, Salem Davadi. He's one person who is not a fighter. He's one person who is not a great mobilizer. He's one person who has never helped us any. In fact, it is Raila Moludinga who has helped these people in this team. It is them who was Raila Moloding as a lot of an apology. Okay, I have a just uh, I just want to uh, want to give me an answer with a single word. What's the work of opposition leader, opposition in the government? Currently, as we speak, there is nothing like opposition leader. The constitution recognizes the minority and the majority. Through the minority leadership, our people 
organizes or, or, or puts checks and balances through parliament, that is the National Assembly and the Senate. Therefore, there is nothing like opposition. Do you, do you agree with Honorable or Dr. Babu Oweno because he proclaimed that is now the self-opposition leader? Because there is nothing like opposition, therefore whatever Babu Oweno proposes himself for, I also support that he let him hold, uh, have that position. That is a title. Let him have the title. Yes. And uh, uh, I, uh, I pray so well that he engages the people and he moves so well with his ideas. What, He's what, one person that uh, I cannot fight a youth. I will support him in whatever he wants. What's your mind on Gemma and Pentagon? Do you think uh, Gemma and Pentagon are com is coming? Gemma, Gemma is nothing. Gemma, the, Gemma, the Gemma issue cannot make us fear about whatever that is going to come in 2027. In 2027, I can tell you very categorically, and this you can take to the bank. Time will come, you, can, you will also share with me uh, this idea that I've told you today. 2027 is a, is a clear game. It is Ruto versus Raila, whereby not Raila the real person, but the person that Raila will propose to deputize Ruto is the person that will, uh, that the, automatically, that will be the government for the 2027. Can you predict the, uh, uh, the Nino of uh, Gema? Uh, for, Ge uh, for Gema, I, I, I know the team of Gema, they are proposing that uh, Stephen Kalozo Msioka becomes the deputy. Uh, that is a, a sideshow. To me, that your story is Jabba. Okay, Honorable Obungowit, thanks for your time. Welcome back again to Ghetto Media Africa, home of news and politics.